Hi, how you doing there, folks? The reason for the recession is because of the Republican leadership that the United States has been under for the past eight years under George, President George Bush. What President George Bush did was, number one, he made it that there's total free trade with China and a whole bunch of other developing countries. So what's happening right now, when you go home and buy something on the shelves, you hardly ever see anything that's made in the United States. Almost everything says made in China. Every, almost everything, folks. It's either that or it's made in some other, some other developing country, but mostly, mostly China. Now, since 2004, there has been hundreds of factories that have closed in the United States. I mean, hundreds are no longer no longer open. High unemployment in the state of Ohio, state of California, New York State, around Buffalo. That 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 city is almost finished. And that was a, that was that 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 city was industrial. You know, folks. You know, Massachusetts suffered under high unemployment, Georgia, uh, Baltimore, I can name so many cities, folks. But the fact of it is, there's thousands of people unemployed, and the reason is because of the Republican leadership. Now, as a direct result of that, you have the housing time crisis, where a lot of people now that can't they couldn't pay their mortgages. You're talking about people that had good jobs, that were paying 30 to 40 dollars a year, manufacturing jobs, so all of a sudden now, our, our unemployment, our welfare, can't pay the mortgages no more. So what, so what does the Republican leadership go? Oh, you shouldn't have bought houses to begin with. Oh, you're liberal. You're liberal. You know, you know, this is for only the top rich making it. But that's exactly what did happen, folks. The factories closed in the United States. Everything opened up in China. And uh, the Republicans actually called those years when there was high unemployment in this country boom years because the stocks were up, folks. But all the factories over in China, folks. And now we're going to vote these same people in again. T t t are you crazy? Would be cra cr crazy? The United States is very close to becoming a third world country. Not only that, Bush invaded Iraq. And there was no reason to go in there because the weapons inspectors found no weapons. If they did a thorough search, we should not have went in there. That was stupid. We went in there, we had the high price of oil that you have now, $80 a barrel. For the Iraq war, it was around $39 a barrel. 40, you know, $40 a barrel was in that range. Now it's 80 and once we went in there, Bush deliberately kept the troops at a low level so there would be a constant state of chaos there to ensure a high price for a barrel of oil. You're talking about the former, former had had one of the former biggest hard honchos of Exxon Mobil. Okay? And now what are we going to do? We're going to vote the Republicans back in? No way, no way should we do that. And not, not to mention the high, in, high inflation that has taken place on the Bush's regime. You know, full prices of food, you know, bus fares going through the roof. Right in New York City, back in 2002, you could buy an unlimited use Metro card for only $67 a month. Now it's, now it's 89 going up to 104. Should we vote these idiots back in? Absolutely not. 